Welcome to Studio 805. Today's Wednesday, August 15th. I'm Gretchen Macarella with your news break. Families are expected to spend an average of $563.49 on back to school, according to the National Retail Federation. That's up 6.9% from last year. Retailers say parents come in with long lists of specific items kids need for class. A ruler, watercolor markers, a sharpie. Many parents with children as young as junior high are looking at computers, which is part of what is quickly bringing up the cost of back to school. Today, the kids in Fillmore had back and the rest of our local classrooms fill up over the next few weeks. The arguments began yesterday in the case about whether eight employees of the Santa Barbara News Press were fired legally. The paper's lawyers say the staff was dismissed for disloyalty and bias in their reporting. Union lawyers say the firings were punishment directly for union activities and were part of an overall campaign to stop unionization. The debate continues in front of the National Labor Relations Board today and is likely to extend until September. The Board of Supervisors is on vacation for most of this month and city councils across the county usually go dark as well for the month of August. It's typically the longest recess of the year, longer even than winter holidays. But most supervisors and council members are still available to meet with constituents and hear their concerns about potholes, property taxes, and government responsibilities. The independent bookstore has become a rarity in many cities, but not in Ventura. Bookstore owner Clary Rudd has declared Ventura an international book city, hoping to lure bibliophiles to the community. He says Ventura's bookstores collectively manage an inventory of more than two million books, and the city holds a special place as a book-loving community. Dig in for the rest of that story. The Humane Animal Rescue Team gives animals a home when their elderly owners cannot care for them or die. The group pays for boarding dogs to save them from euthanization in shelters. Many of the dogs are old and sometimes ill, and they're hard to adopt out. The volunteers provide long-term foster care for the animals, while the group looks for understanding homes. Thanks for watching. I'm Gretchen Macarella in Studio 805 at the Ventura County Star. Click around the site. Entertainment News is Lisa with your food report.